Seeing these guys out here contributing to this, it's, uh, it's super special. How we doing? I do know that a lot of the people that do well in this company do have big hearts and they really care. Start falling down we try to find people that care. That's kind of what our company's about. <laughs> Today we're doing a project uh, for uh, a wounded warrior, a veteran. Uh, he was uh, burned on, unfortunately, on, on part of his body. And so he's had difficulties regulating his body temperature. Uh, when we were, you know, approached by one of our, our vendors, American Standard, we decided to put our heads together and find uh, an individual, specifically a veteran in our community, that could really use the help of having a new air conditioner and having complete control of, over his indoor environment. You know, this individual that we've been working with uh, is the perfect candidate for us. 1985, I joined the military, but it wasn't until about 1983 when the 82nd Airborne Division went into uh, Grenada that I wanted to join the Army and jump out of airplanes, you know. Tragedy. The most deadly incident came last year at Pope Air Force Base. 23 members of the 82nd Airborne Corps died in the fiery aftermath of a plane crash as they practiced what they're trained to do. The pilot punched out. The uh, aircraft hit the ground, hit another parked aircraft on the ground, and went to us. I turned. Saw a spinning fuselage heading our way. About two, three seconds later, I was on fire. 34% total surface area, 25% uh, were full thickness, meaning third degree burns. And guys like Kevin just, they need it. They would never ask for it. So it's fulfilling to be able to, to come in and to see sort of that weight off of his shoulders lift. This morning, uh, two of our lead installers came into my office and they said, hey, you know, I, I know we're doing this, this Serving South Texas project. I know we're helping out a veteran. We'd like to volunteer our time to come out here and install this system. That's a beautiful thing, and I just pray that we'll be able to have more opportunities like this in the future. I really appreciate the fact I'm involved in an organization that actually cares about the community. It's just important to reach out and help and, and do what's right. This system that we're putting in makes it so that if his house is 75 degrees, it's 75 degrees no matter what temperature it is outside the house. It was overwhelming because you're doing a service to my family, not just me. Honestly, it's, I feel kind of selfish because uh, it makes me feel good to be able to, to make somebody else feel good.